Well, let's take a look now at example number four. Same basic idea. I'm going to use computer algebra systems to help me here. I'll go back to Wolfram. So let's see. This is going to be an integral of sine 2 theta over the square root 5 minus sine theta. So I'll just replace this. So I want sine of 2. I don't want to type in the word theta. Let's just use x. That's fine. To get a square root in, I'll do sqrt. That sounds pretty good. Then I'll do 5 minus the sine of x. Close all this off, and let's see if Wolfram interpreted what I meant. Yep, there it is. Okay, perfect. So here's my answer. So, oh gosh, that is a very long one. So, all right, uh, making sure I got all that down. All right, so, oof, this is really long. All right, so this is one third. And then I think we had in there a minus four square root five minus a sine x times another sine x minus a 40. There was a square root of a five minus a sine of x and then it was plus a 40 square root five. And of course it was all of that, Wolfram reminded us, plus c. Fantastic, Wolfram is so fast, it's so smart, and you can even pay for again for the step-by-step -step solutions. Um, there's just one problem. Wait a minute, maybe it's not a problem. Didn't we do this question before? Yeah, I mean, we did this a couple videos back, right? I mean, if I was to go back through my notes, hey, look, yeah, it's the same question. Oh, look at the answer. Isn't the answer that we have right here the identical answer to what we just wrote down? Right, they look 100% the same. Hmm, okay, maybe not. Do you think it might be easy at times for me to tell again if you've used Wolfram Alpha to do your work for you as opposed to coming up with solutions on your own? Yeah, it's typically possible. The solutions that are generated here by computer algebra systems are not necessarily always the same kinds or types of solutions that we would have generated doing something by hand. Again, these things stick out like a sore thumb. So please, 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 I beg you, um, make sure that as you're working through content that you are not using computer algebra systems to tell you how to do the problem. But I would highly recommend that you use them as a tool, maybe to double check your work in certain instances. Nothing wrong with that, right? You to totally fine. But in some problems, you might not be able to use a computer algebra system. And so it becomes important that you understand how to think through a lot of these questions on your own.